Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. Deputy Premier His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa received Sierra Leone's Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Minister, Professor David Francis. He stresses that the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries will open wider horizons for cooperation in various fields to serve the interests of the two countries. Minister Francis expressed pride in visiting Bahrain, stressing his country's keenness to work on developing relations with the kingdom in various fields. The Representatives Council Speaker Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal received the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The meeting discussed the results of the Economic Recovery Plan, cooperation and coordination between the legislative and executive branches. The Speaker praised the Minister's efforts in implementing the plan, achieving its goals and supporting the development process under the leadership of His Majesty the King. She stressed that the accomplishments resulted from the keenness of the government headed by by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. For his part, the Minister affirmed that the indicators achieved within the framework of economic recovery are the result of the integrated national efforts and effective partnership between the legislative and executive authorities in translation of the visions and directives of His Majesty the King and in implementation of the plans and programs that receive the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The President of Yemen's Presidential Leadership Council, Major General Dr. Rashid al ulaymi began a visit in Bahrain, during which he will be received by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The discussions are scheduled to include ways to enhance and develop bilateral relations between the two brotherly countries in various fields, in addition to the latest developments in Yemen developments and the region. al ulaymi arrived in the Kingdom today, where he was received by the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, the Head of the Mission of the Honor, the Ambassador of Yemen to Bahrain, the Chief of Public Security, and the Governor of Muharraq. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of Sierra Leone, Professor David Francis, on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom. The two sides discussed ways of promoting bilateral cooperation and joint coordination in different areas between the two countries, in addition to issues of common concern. The two ministers also signed the joint statement on the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two friendly countries. The Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yaqub al Hamar, commended the results of the cooperation with the Shura and Representatives Council to approve laws and legislations that contribute to the development of the housing work system and the improvement of housing services provided to citizens, including amending the requirements for the right to dispose of the housing service. Al Hamar said that the ministry was keen to cooperate with the legislative authority to preserve the rights of families who wish to benefit from the service of the right to dispose of their real estate after completing the payment of the housing service granted to them. The minister added that the amendments related to the condition of obtaining written permission to grant the beneficiary the right to dispose of this unit as ministerial resolution number 461 of 2020, which included a number of criteria criteria which guarantees the preservation of the family's right to the residential unit. 
Al-Hamar added that the ministry guaranteed the right of the housing for life to the owner of the housing unit in the event of applying to the grant the housing unit to a relative unless ownership of a habitable property is proved and the desire to waive the right of housing is expressed. The Executive United Nations World Tourism Organization Council, UNTWO, concluded its 116th session. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, BTEA, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, participated in the session, as well as top officials of international organizations from more than 35 countries. Bahrain represented the Middle East region on the World Tourism Organization's Executive Council in appreciation of its efforts to develop the tourism sector at the local level due to its rapidly developing tourism sector. The session reviewed the future of the tourism sector as a fundamental pillar of sustainable development and international cooperation to overcome the negative effects of COVID-19 on the tourism and travel sectors. The participants discussed ways to improve international cooperation and joint governance models, analyzing the new view of the tourism sector. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, met Saudi Tourism Minister Ahmed bin Aqil Al Khatib on the sidelines of the Minister's participation in the UNWTO Executive Council meeting in Riyadh. The meeting reviewed Bahraini Saudi relations and discussed the important governmental plans and programs to support the tourism sector. Azayani affirmed that the government's support to all programs, initiatives, and projects that would develop these relations and serve the two kingdoms. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq al muayyad inaugurated the photography exhibition organized by the Ministry on the occasion of Gulf Youth Day, which comes in implementation of the discussions of GCC Ministers of Youth and Sports to adopt June 6th of each year as the Gulf Youth Day. The exhibition included the work of young Gulf photographers, which reflect the identity, culture and unity of the GCC countries in a creative way. Of course, the initiative was a Bahraini-led initiative. We initiated it, recommended it to the GCC, um, and we were pleased, uh, ecstatic, to see that they've accepted it and launched it on a, on a regional um, uh, basis. Um, this gives us an opportunity, so the segment gives us an opportunity to present our youth to the world, really, through the GCC, and present the GCC brethren and sisters um, again to the world and so what we see today is from an artistic perspective the capabilities and skill sets that our kids our youth have um, we're very proud of them and I'm sure everybody that visits will be too. In collaboration with the Ministry of Youth and Sports it's a wonderful display of contemporary photography um, the photographers come from GCC countries, they're all young and vibrant young photographers who talk about the, uh, this beautiful art that's growing, it's growing um, through the youth, through social media platforms. There are many young photographers in the region and this exhibition highlights the best of these photographers of beautiful landscapes in the GCC in Bahrain. I'm especially proud to have a look at the young Bahraini photographers who have participated in this exhibition and I think they all have a different language to say, a different story to say, so I'm really enjoying the diversity that I see in this exhibition. Of course, opening this, sorts of, this sort of venues to young creatives is always great. It's great, it's great to engage with creative thinking and visual imagery and the art scene and the crowd today is, is vibrant and um, I'm delighted that it's taking place here at the Art Centre. I think that this exhibition is really important to showcase the talent that we have in the Gulf and it's really amazing being able to see all these different selection of works being put together and being brought forward in order for us to see how talented uh, the Khaliji youth and uh, especially the Bahraini youth uh, is. 
The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Wa'il bin Nasser al-Mubarak, met with Tajikistan's Minister of Energy and Water Resources, Da'il Juma. The minister stressed the importance of exchanging knowledge, expertise and experience between countries and benefiting in the fields of energy and sustainability of water resources. He noted that these meetings strengthen the integrated management of water resources and stimulate measures to support the implementation of sustainable development goals for water resources. They discuss the most prominent strategies, plans and objectives that support the implementation of the Sustainable Development Plan in the field of electricity, water and renewable energy. The two sides reviewed bilateral relations and issues of common interest in the field of electricity, water and sustainable energy and ways to enhance them. The two ministers exchanged views on unifying efforts in the field of water sustainability, reviewing the efforts of Bahrain to provide electricity and water to all citizens and residents and to achieve the sustainability of water resources.